Third grade, nice seeing you guys. Um, you just finished up your mineral project and we are getting right down to the end of the school year now. Um, we are going to do one more big project and then we'll finish out the year with a couple smaller digital projects. Um, so we are going to be doing one more symmetry project. It's going to be more of a collage. So we did symmetry with our basketball courts already um, where you had to have one side was the same as the other. Um, that's going to be kind of the same case for this next project. I'm going to expect the same thing, but this time you're going to be cutting up papers and gluing them together to create your artwork. And we are going to, instead of studying a person, we're actually going to study an event that they do every other year. And this is called the Brussels Flower Carpet. And the Brussels Flower Carpet happens in a big city called Brussels. That's where it gets its name. And Brussels is actually a city in Belgium, which is right about here on the map. Okay, and we would be way over here. Um, and they first began to do this event way back in 1971. So that was what, 40, 50 years ago, excuse me. So 50 years ago um, is when they started it. And it happens every other year. So they're actually gonna have it this fall and then they'll skip next year and then they'll do it again in 2023. Um, typically, it happens in August, and it lasts for about three or four days. Um, doesn't last for a super long time. And it typically happens in this big courtyard in Brussels called the Grand Place. It's kind of like the city center, and it, you can see the buildings around the edge. And it has this big opening in the middle. Um, so they kind of block that off, and they make this huge symmetrical artwork out of something called a begonia. And a begonia is the national flower of Belgium. So um, Belgium's very famous for these begonias that they grow. And to make one of these huge flower carpets, that's what they call it as a flower carpet, um, it takes over 750,000 begonias. Um, and here's a picture of what a begonia looks like up close. So begonias are typically warm colored. Um, so when you look at the designs, typically that's what you'll see. You'll see lots of reds, pinks, oranges, yellows um, in the designs. Um, sometimes their designs are inspired by other countries, like if they're honoring maybe their friendship with Japan, they'll come up with a design that it has more of a Japanese style to it. Um, a lot of times their, uh, their flower carpets are geometric, so we see a lot of shapes that have names like squares, triangles, rectangles. Um, my guess is it's probably easier to kind of map those things out on the ground versus um, more organic shapes. As I said, it's usually warm colored. I don't see any cool colors in this. So no blues, greens, purples. And sometimes it's symmetrical. Usually it's symmetrical, I guess. Um, this one looks like it is for the most part. Okay, here are just some more examples. If I remember correctly, this one was based on um, Mexico. Um, it has kind of like this Aztec style going on um, over here as well as over here. Um, Aztecs were a group of um, Indians or Native Americans that were from Mexico. Um, so they oftentimes honor these other cultures or other countries. Um, this one is inspired by either China or Japan. Um, has very traditional, um, like what they call it. I think these are called ginkgo trees. We see a crane, we see koi fish, um, some flowers. Just a view of the crowd. You can see how many people typically show up. It's a pretty big event. Um, as I said, this only lasts three or four days too because when they cut off the tops of these flowers to use for the um, large flower carpet, when they sit out in the heat of the summer, after a couple days, they actually start to wilt. So that's why it only lasts for so long before they have to get rid of everything. Just a couple more. Um, when you do see the green in this, this is actually grass. So this courtyard must have like a big grassy patch in the middle of it. So sometimes you can see some of the grass that they leave out um, as, part of the, as part of the design. All right, so um, you are going to be creating a flower carpet. As I said, I expect it to be symmetrical. I also really want you to focus on geometric shapes. So think about squares, rectangles, triangles, shapes that you can usually name or shapes that have a lot of straight edges to them. You're not gonna see um, these 
blobby looking shapes. It doesn't, we're not going to see any shapes that look like the spot on the side of a cow or like you spilled your milk. Um, those would be organic shapes, like these spots on my shirt. These are very organic looking. So I don't want to see anything like that on this design. I want you to really focus geometrically. Um, I have a video for you to watch that is um, kind of talks a bit about the event. And then um, the video after that, I'll dive into what you're going to do over the next few weeks. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.